Hi, I am Mubashar Nazar. I help companies get clients on LinkedIn. I am also LinkedIn trainer and coach. This is a part 2 of our video and how to generate leads with the help of Xpandy. In last video, we also make some campaigns about how to send a connection request and how to generate leads. And today, we will discuss about how we can send our first degree connection messages. So, first of all, just click on campaigns. And this is a dashboard. You can also understand the performance of your campaign. And now everything is available. So, you will totally understand about a campaign performance. And now, this time, we will make a new campaign. How to send messages to your first degree connections. So just click on campaigns and then just we need to add campaign and here you need to select messenger and here you need to write a campaign name and then just click on next and here different templates are available but we are just without template And here we need to put our body message. And now this is our message that I want to send our first degree connection. You just need to copy and I am pasting here. And different parameters are available. You can change according to your requirement. You can send one then more than two follow up messages too. So it's totally depend on you. And now you can see that placeholders are available, first name, second name, job titles, company name, means everything is available. And now we are just sending the connect, uh, messages to our first degree connections. So we just need to apply. And now this is a save. And now here we need to add a people. Just click on add new search. We can also get the target audience URL from LinkedIn basic search or from sale navigator. This time I am just using a sale navigator. So I am just clicking here the sale navigator search. Here we need to enter the name of the search. Then just click on next. And here you need to put URL of your target audience. So this is a first degree connection my target audience and I am just copying the URL <clears throat> and then just paste here the URL and after this we can just add message to first degree connection we can also select here the auto reload and we can also select here the days after 14 days after 30 days after 7 days just this time I'm just selecting here the after 7 days and then just click on search and now our target audience is loaded now it will take some 1 or 2 minutes and now you can see that our target audience is loaded now and now we just need to click on campaigns and just click on message to first degree connection and now you can see that this is a steps we just put here the one message if you want you can also put here the second follow up message and now these are the settings you can increase or decrease according to your requirement integration histories and everything is available so when you are fully satisfied about this campaign then you just need to active this campaign and now if you want to send more than 30 message per day then you can increase this or decrease this it's totally depend on you just click on active campaign and just click on apply and now we can just send a 30 messages okay we are just sending the 30 messages and just click on apply and now your campaign is running now and now your messenger campaign is also running and your connection sending uh, campaign is also running and now i will tell you how you can send up in mails campaign so you just need to click on campaign and then just click on add campaigns 
and now this time we are just sending the in mails we can also use uh, this in mail too and we can also use for in mail campaign builders too for example i am just clicking here the campaign builder and here we need to write the name of the campaign i am just writing here the in mails and then click on next and here different campaign different templates are available you can choose these templates according to your requirement and now for example in mail flow campaign so you can choose this template too and start start with a visit profile and if email exists then email then if bounce and then email and then different process are available so you can use ready-made templates too and if you want to make a new template then just click on create without template so you you will totally understand how to make a new campaign too so first of all we just need to start and after this i am adding here the action visit profile and now i am also adding here the condition if open in mail and then i will send a in mail if in mail is open And now you can see that and here we need to write a in mail with the subject line so i am copying here my in mail message and now you can change in mail according to your requirement first name okay and you also need to write here the subject of the in mail For example, I just am writing the subject of this mail is I would like to talk with you about your outsourcing services. So I am just adding here the subject. You can also add according to your requirement. And you can also select here days, hours. It's totally depend on you according to your requirement. I'm just selecting here the one day and after this you can add more actions more actions are also available like you can say that uh, like a post and when you are 100% sure about this campaign then you can save this just click on save and now your campaign is saved now and then just click on people and now again you can add new people from sale navigator or from linkedin basic search this time i am just using the sale navigator so i get my target audience from sale navigator just click on sale navigator and give the name of the search i am just writing here the in mails and then just click on next and here you need to put the URL of your targeted audience. And now I am copying the URL of my target audience and then paste here. And then click on auto reload. So after every seven days, your list will be automatically loaded. And then you need to select the add campaign results. I am just selecting here the in mails and then just click on search now it will take some one or two minutes so your target audience is uploaded now and now you can see that your target audience is loaded now and your list is completed now you just need to click on campaign and now you can see that you just need to in mails And now you can see that you just need to click on setting and just click on active campaign and in this way your campaign is active and now you can see that in last two videos i sent you how you how you can send an email campaign and how you can send a first degree connection and how you can send a connection request hope you all understand if you have anything related to this then i am available here thank you for watching video bye bye